Let's test out some life hacks because maybe they're legit, maybe they're not. But let, we're gonna find out. <laughs> that I don't even know how I got tongue twisted then. A life hack that reduces the consumption of detergent. If you are out of liquid soap or you just want to save money, the tip will save both money and your time. Make a hole in the dish sponge and put some gritty soap in. What's gritty soap? You can read more about this life hack here. Ew. Gritty soap. That looks like cheese. Stuff cheese in your sponge and mmm. Um, I'm not too sure I'm about it. <laughs> it looks bloody bizarre. Kool-Aid can clean a toilet just as well as special detergent. If Kool-Aid's kind of similar to cola, then yes, because Coca-Cola, like I've said before, is used to clean murder scenes, weirdly enough. So maybe Kool-Aid's the same. Kool-Aid and other similar drinks contain lemon acid, which is a perfect natural detergent. This is a great alternative way to clean your bathroom and toilet. That's right, so all of you guys out there that don't clean your toilets, call later, right? Uh, my cellar water whitens the soles of sneakers. I actually have my cellar water. Oh my god, if this works, I'll be so happy. <laughs> this beauty product will help you to revive your old sneakers and leather shoes. Put some liquid on a cotton swab, rub the dirt and wash it off. I'm not even kidding, I'm going to try this one because this could be a game changer. I can't stand when my sneakers and things get dirty. But then, it, like, you just can't wear them if you don't want them to get dirty. <laughs> I need to get that spray that, like, stops liquids and things from going on it. Whiten and, and disinfectant cutting boards in the kitchen. What? Mix the following ingredients. Three to four tablespoons. Baking soda is good for everything, I swear. Even if you like get color like stuck in your hair, baking soda gets it out. Uh, one teaspoon of detergent, half a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide. Put the paste on the surface and wait for a few hours. You can leave it overnight. <gasps> It's wild, it looks brand new. Wouldn't want to be consuming that liquid, that's for sure. <laughs> Why did they put the tape in the middle of it? Oh, they wanted to, yeah, okay. Mix the following, oh wait, we just read that, my bad. Toothpaste can replace special tablets for the toilet. That is one clean looking Photoshop toilet right there. That's what we got, a Photoshop toilet. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on daily special toilet tablets, you can use toothpaste tube. Wouldn't that be just as expensive? Uh, one pack will last three months. The toilet will smell minty and the soda in the toothpaste has a whitening effect. Just make the holes in the tube. What? Oh, put it, you leave the tube in the toilet. That is so weird. Uh, a spray that irons out clothes just as well as an iron. Vinegar, but do you really want to be walking around smelling like vinegar? Mix one teaspoon of hair conditioner, one teaspoon of vinegar, two glasses of water. Spray the mixture on your clothes, iron them, and your hands will wait. Wait, wait, wait. Iron them with your hands. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> and wait until they dry. I feel like getting an iron might be just easy, you know. Came up might sell irons for like 20 bucks. Some of these life hacks seem to be like more strenuous, like strenuous, strenuous. That's a no from me. Cat litter removes unpleasant smells. Were well, you trying to imply that my uh, shoes smell? Sweetie, these feet don't smell. Um, yeah, yuck. <laughs> I know a couple people whose shoes I'd like to chuck in that bag, that's for sure. So guys, real quick, I have a fun challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. If you leave a like and subscribe to this video in the next five seconds, you'll receive 10 years of amazing luck. And I mean, who doesn't want 10 years of amazing luck? Cause I do. Wait, what? <laughs> Put cat litter in your trash can or inside, uh, or inside a thing that you would like to remove an unpleasant smell from. It can be anything from shoes to mats, usually things that are difficult to wash. So place cat litter and object in the plastic bag and leave it for several days. Several days. What if they're like your regular shoes? What if your cat mistakes it for a new litter box the next minute your cat's pooping in your shoes? Now that would suck. <laughs> a trap for fruit flies. You just have flies that go for anything. Absolutely anything. Um, in a house where there is fruit, there are insects reproducing lightning fast. Ugh, yuck. And a simple trap can help you defeat them. Put in, uh, put any fruit into a cup, cover it in plastic film and make a hole in the film. The flies will be able to get in and won't be able to get out. Why, why are animals like this? How can they get in and forget how to get out? Don't quite understand. There's going to be one fat fly when it gets out because that's a lot of strawberries. Or you can just get one of those aerosols you stick on the wall that like zaps bugs. Mmm, let's get it. You can hide nail holes with a piece of soap. Get out of here, no way. Take a piece of white soap and rub it on uh, the necessary spot in circular motions. The nail mark will be almost impossible to defeat. You can find a lot of photos and detail description here. I want to see a couple more photos, don't you guys? I wonder if this works. Are you going to just have white smeared on the wall then? Yeah. Oh, see, he's got a white wall. Of course it's going to work for you. That really did work for you. A rubber band will limit the expense of liquid soap. Oh, it will too. Isn't that just annoying? 
<laughs> a rubber band will cut down the amount of liquid soap to use. Here is a blog of inventive housewife who would design a life hat. I would just want to get another job and be balling with my hand soap and just like getting all that hand soap, lather it up. Isn't that the best part about hand soap? What? Just get a bar of soap next time. <laughs> Hair spray and rubber gloves will help remove pet hair from. Ew, hair spray is so sticky. What if that went on the couch? Put some hair spray on a rubber glove and touch your couches, armchairs, and carpets. All the place is very hard to remove pet hair from. They really do use hair spray and everything. I hope they realize that hair spray is quite toxic. <laughs> Oh, uh, when I've gone to like photo shoots before, they put that much hairspray in your hair that you end up coming home tasting hairspray in your mouth. That's how much they spray. It's so gross. And like if you blow your nose, you'll taste hairspray. It's so bad. Sponge keeps vegetables fresh for a longer time. Oh my God, really? That'd be really smart because if you have, we have so many veggies in our veggie drawers that sometimes like something gets lost underneath and like goes off. Like they leak. So the sponge would like suck that up, which would be really smart. It'd make cleaning a fridge a lot easier. <laughs> if you put dish spa sponges in the section for fruit and vegetables, they will absorb the moisture and smells and the foods will stay fresher for a longer time. That's pretty cool. Alka Sletzer removes the stains from tea and coffee cups. I have no idea what that is. Why is he saying it like I'm meant to know what that is? Put a pill in a cup of warm water, or oh, some form of drug. Wait a few minutes, wash the cup. You can, is it a drug? <laughs> Okay, you can keep sauces in an egg carton. Oh my god, that is so smart. I've never thought about that. Although I never keep my, uh, that's pretty smart keeping your sauces up, right? There's nothing more annoying when you get a sauce and you've got to sit on at least trying to get all the sauce like to go to the bottom of the bottle. And this is a great life hack for those who hate to shake the leftovers from sauce bottles. If you keep them upside down in the empty egg cartons, you won't have to shake them. Sandpaper removes piling from clothes. Oh, does it? I feel like that would really wear out your clothes though, like bad. This is a quick way to make your clothes look good as new. Sandpaper can substitute for special device removing fuzz balls. Somebody said to use a shaver once. I tried it, it didn't work. <laughs> Read more about the life hack here. Well, guys, let's just click there. Let's click there. We'll have a little look. Let's see if it does work. I feel like he's gonna have no clothes left. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you've gotten a life hack out of this somehow. I, uh, what was the one we thought we were gonna use? This one, I wanna try it this one. Let me know which one like sparked your interest the most. Mine's definitely the micellar water. I think that's quite cool. But yeah, that is the end of the video and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye.